Aydın was part of the territory that came under Turkish control during the 12th and 13th centuries. After the decline of the Sultanate of Rum, which had governed Anatolia under the Seljuks, the region fragmented into smaller principalities. One of the most prominent of these in western Anatolia was the Adenid Beylik, or Adenagulari, established around 1308 by Memd Bey, a former military commander likely of Oga's Turkic descent. The Adenids quickly became a maritime power and played a significant role in the Aegean region. Under the rule of Yumer Bey, also known as Yumergazi, the Beylik reached its zenith. Yumer Bey was a renowned naval commander and a patron of culture and architecture. He launched expeditions across the Aegean, at times clashing with Christian powers such as the Byzantines, Venetians, and the Knights Hospitaller. By the late 14th century, the growing Ottoman Empire began absorbing the Anatolian Beyliks. The Adenids were conquered by Bayezid I in the 1390s, briefly regained autonomy during the Ottoman Interregnum after the Battle of Ankara in 1402, and were finally annexed permanently by Memd I around 1425. Afterward, the region was fully integrated into the Ottoman administrative system. For this video, I gathered the raw DNA of 10 Aden Turks from Reichlabs.ho dataset. I chose Aden in particular out of all Turkish locations because it is one of the regions with the highest Seljuk, or Turkic ancestry in Anatolia. I ran these 10 samples through QPDM and determined that around 12% of their ancestry is of East Asian origin. Early Turkic nomads were half East Asian, which means the Aden Turks must have roughly a quarter of Turkic ancestry. They had high steppe ancestry, some of which is from the Turkic side and some of which is from Greek, Slavic, and Hittite ancestry that the Western Turks have. Another cubidum run revealed that the Aden Turks I selected for this video are just slightly more than one quarter Turkic. I used Karakaba early medieval samples as the Turkic proxy. An FST run computed with Edmixtols 2 revealed that the closest population to these Aden Turks were Azerbaijanis followed by Armenians. It is surprising that the Tajiks ended up closer to them than Georgians. The Turkmen and Uzbeks were very distant from them. The ethnicities furthest from the Aden Turks were Native Americans, South Africans, Australians, and Pygmies. I ran these 10 samples through my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis. Four of them were male. Two carried the Eastern European lineage R1A. The most common predicted phenotypes for them were Pamirid, East Alpinid, and Turinid, but one sample scored a Northern European phenotype. The most common predicted eye color was either dark hazel or light brown, but one sample scored regular brown eyes and one sample scored blue eyes with amber center. The most common predicted hair color was dark brown, and there was a sample with blondish hair color prediction. There were no samples with black or red hair color predictions. Most samples had some shade of brown skin color, but one sample scored white as their predicted skin shade. The most common predicted hair texture among these samples was wavy, followed by straight. One sample scored curly hair. No sample was predicted to have kinky hair. Greek and snub nose shapes were equally common among the group. Seven samples scored the highest possible score for baldness and three samples had slightly reduced odds of baldness. Keep in mind this isn't the highest possible score with my trait predictor, only with .ho samples which unfortunately lack most of the SNPS my trait predictor uses for analysis. They scored high for odds of allergies, autism, some of them were likely lactose intolerant, and most had a predisposition to lower empathy levels. These Aden Turks had average odds of depression, overall low odds of bipolar disorder type 1, and average odds of Alzheimer's. The Aden Turks had high levels of LDL cholesterol, which is bad for cardiovascular health and is typical for West Eurasians with my tool, low levels of good HDL cholesterol, which is also typical, high odds of atrial fibrillation, and intermediate odds of various cardiovascular issues. The Aden Turks had low odds of hemoglobin E disease, low odds of type 2 diabetes, and a high predisposition to type 1 diabetes, which is characteristic of Europeans. One sample carried risk variants for various autoimmune diseases in the HLA gene. This affects the risk score for such conditions as type 1 diabetes, multiple sclerosis, rheumatoid arthritis, and a couple more. Six of the ten Aden Turks carried risk variants for polycythemia vera, which is higher than expected. Surprisingly, 
five of the ten samples weren't homozygous for the testicular cancer variants in KITLG. This is below the expected rate for Western Eurasians. The Aden Turks had lower odds of syncope. You can purchase their genomes in 23andMe format from the link in description. You can also purchase my tools and services from the links in description. Thank you for watching.